changers. We miss you so much and we cannot wait to see you again. Thank you for coming back for the second week of our lesson, The Great Escape. And last week we learned how Moses was put in a basket in a river and then he was raised in Egypt by the Pharaoh's daughter. And though he grew up in Egypt, he did run away and he married and settled down somewhere else. And then one day, something crazy happened. Let's read from the Bible to figure out what that was. And I am in Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not draw near to this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their cry, because they are taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. So I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians, and bring them up from that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey. I mean, could you just imagine seeing a burning bush, and then God speaking to you? It's just awesome how God used a burning bush to do something so great in Moses' life. But, you know, you can do great things, too. It could be something as simple as helping somebody in need, sharing God's love with someone, um, or even helping somebody who's being picked on and you stand up for them. Or what about using your talents, like singing and writing? We know lots of people that do that. You can make a big difference doing things that even seem small. Just remember that whatever you do for God, He will help you do it. And that's why this week our big idea is God can help you do great things. Imagine we're in a dark room, trapped. We need a way to get out. Suddenly, a key appears. What do we do with the key? Oh yeah, we could use it to unlock this door. And ah, we escaped. This reminds me of a story from the Bible about someone who realized he could do something great to help people escape too. We talked last week about Moses, whose mother put him in a basket in the river as a baby. The princess of Egypt, Pharaoh's daughter, found him in the basket and saved him and let him live in the palace. Moses' people, the Israelites, were slaves in Egypt, and even though Moses was one of them, he was allowed to live in the palace. Moses felt bad for the people who were slaves, and he saw how badly the Egyptians treated them. One day, Moses left Egypt and went to a new town. He got married and settled down in his new place. One day, when he was out in the desert with a flock of sheep, he saw something strange and amazing. He saw a bush that was on fire, but instead of the fire spreading or dying out, it just kept burning and burning and burning. He saw an angel of God appear to him from the burning bush, and he heard a voice calling out his name. Moses, Moses. Here I am, said Moses. Then he heard, don't come any closer. Take off your sandals. This ground is special. Moses took off his shoes. He realized God was talking to him through the burning bush. God told Moses he was going to lead his people, the Israelites, out of slavery in Egypt. God didn't like the way the Israelites were being treated and wanted to rescue them. He had an escape plan and he was going to use Moses to carry out his plan. Moses was scared and didn't think he could do it. God reminded Moses that we would never be alone. Moses asked God, what if they don't believe me? 
God did something really cool to show Moses how powerful he was. He told Moses to throw his walking stick on the ground, and God made it turn into a snake. When Moses picked it up, it turned back into a walking stick. God did something else that was really amazing. When Moses put his hand in his coat and took it back out, it had sores all over it. Then he put it in his coat and took it back out again, and it was normal again. Moses was still nervous. He didn't think he could speak well enough to do such a big job. God promised to help Moses. So Moses obeyed God and headed back to Egypt. We'll hear more next week to see how God used Moses to help his people escape from Egypt. God promised Moses to be with him. God also promises to help us. God can help you do great things. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. We miss you so much and we love you. We can't wait to see you again. And we'll close out in prayer. Father God, we are amazed how you used a burning bush to do great things in Moses' life. And you can do those same things in ours too. Thank you for using us to do great things. Amen.